Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and today I have three quick tips for fonts and working in the textile panel in the Leonardo Design Studio software. This is available in either basic or pro. So I am creating a project and thought I'd just share this with you. If you are scrolling through your fonts, you'll notice that you do not see this little like scroll bar until you get to the section like the alphabet where you're at. So if I move my mouse over here on my scroll bar between the two arrows on my text style panel, I don't see anything. If I move it up here where I am in the alphabet, now I can grab that and I can scroll down to find my fonts. Fonts are something that takes me a long time to decide because look at this, I have all these fonts and I just cannot make decisions very well. So tip number two, if you want to skip to a font and you know the font name, simply click over here and then start to type the name of the font. So I typed IMP, that gives me impact and I can select it, my font changes over here. So if I were to do that again, if I click over here to select a font so it's active and type in SAM, it's gonna bring up Samantha. So you can skip two fonts when you know those names and you can easily find those. Now, tip number three. You now have the ability to have no wrap. So if you have a design, if I just come in here and I type in cheers, cheers, and I choose no wrap, it's going to allow me to continue typing. Let me see if I can just force this. So I have cheers multiples. If I have no wrap selected, it's going to put them on all one line. If I, there we go, it puts it all on one line. If I don't have that sent, uh, selected, I can center justify, left justify, when I hit a certain point with my cheers, it is going to put it onto a second row. So you'll see that here. So in the beginning of Leonardo Design Studio software, we did not have that option where it would automatically just move it. And it is dependent on your font. So some fonts you can see here that your font, this one puts it onto three lines because of the actual size of the font file. So thought I'd just share those quick three tips when you're working with fonts. Get into the Leonardo Design Studio software, start clicking buttons and have some fun. Thanks for joining me, have a great day.